Hello everybody, welcome to Be Nice To Me, a dwarf team that's meant to be stress-free but up against orcs, which is obviously not a great matchup. They're just stronger and faster with some block of their own. So it's a pretty rubbish matchup. I'm gonna try to be as boring as possible. Play as safe as I can every single turn. Take no risks. Just always super conservative every single turn. Every single turn, safe as possible plays. No gambling on like success states, only mitigating failure states. Now obviously the game state may change that, but definitely, definitely erring on that. We'll definitely try to play as safe as possible. Could do the trident. No. I mean, could do. Quite like the trident. Yeah, go on. Let's do this. Should have saved it. What a fool. Yeah, he doesn't have Mr. Throw, so that makes his team a bit better. Is uh is it at nine UK time? Uh, the uh, one world one blood bowl. Did you just quad skull? He's literally quad skull. Right. So he's going to block him. And he's going to block him. And he's going to block him. Jimmy Fantastic shit at this game. And he's going to blitz him. And he's going to blitz block him. And he's now going to move. Obviously more chance to knock him over, but then he's less good at making the 1Ds, isn't he? Like, he's less good at one making the 1Ds, so I'd rather hit him away. I'm obviously not going to knock anybody over. And then he's a worse player for him to be in contact with. Yes. Come oh. 
Right, what am I doing? Um, the blitz there, it's not great, is it? I'd like to... Could hit him and then 2D him. Is that better? It's not really good. Mm. Well, maybe it's the best thing, isn't it? That puts him under threat of surfing. This guy's safe. Going in there. Hmm. And then there's three on him. That's not terrible, is it? That's not a terrible turn. It's a bit of a commitment over here. There's a bit too much of a commitment over there. But at least the runner's fast. And the blitz is the most extreme one, so he can get back a bit as well. Dorf, 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 dorf. I mean, he was always going to, like, switch there. Right, so we punch. Okay. So we want to move over as far as possible. He just punches, right? Yeah. yeah. And he can go there to take up both of them. to screen him somehow. I feel like I have to hit this guy, but just can't. Oh, I could stand him up. Bit weak in the middle, isn't it? But I don't know what else could I do. Yes, oh yeah, yeah, I think it's shit. There you go, absolute shit. Oh. 
Yeah, that's a good point, Screw. There are people that just grade video games according to how much time they get out of it. I could uphill him and one D surf him, right? In fact, I could one D him into the surf. One, I could one D him into the surf. I think that's maybe okay. As much as it's boring, yeah, I'm trying. Mm, I'm trying to like think through for myself as well, just to try and be as completely safe and boring as possible. <laughs> this is maybe an overcommitment, but it pays off in that now he's overcommitted because he's got two black orcs downed on one guy, which is pretty good. And this can go there for the one D, and then if it's if it's a pal, then I can bit somewhere else anyway. Could one D, because it's a one D into a two D, which is pretty good. But you could two D into a, into a one D, and that's pretty good, isn't it? And it's safer. Most importantly, it's safer. Go down, how bad is it? He punches him, or he's instant served. He's instant served. That's not great, is it? So maybe I should have blitzed him on a 1D. Because now he's instantly served. Because nothing happens, our Yeti. You like, um. Like, nothing happens. Like, literally, nothing happens. It starts off, and you're like, ooh, something's gonna happen. And then, nothing happens. For two hours. <laughs> two hours of nothing happening. Ugh. So like, I didn't really dislike it that much because there was nothing to dislike. I have actually read her, yes. Yes, I have considered that. I think I'd be rather good at it. He's powered everything, hasn't he? Which isn't great. He's powered literally everybody he's punched.
Like I, I didn't like leaving these over there, but I knew I'd be able to swing around, but I guess it's just gonna get away from us. Nothing to really do. We could blitz him. We could chain him out and then move him back a bit. Maybe that's all that works. It doesn't really work. He has to just stand up. Does he have to get served? Probably not. <laughs> and, uh, it shit really happened. Um, is this a stand up? I mean, probably not, right? I'll just take an armor roll. Probably, and maybe I should have stood him up with his left hand. Because he can block. Block. Get three players upfield. Just block without block. And get the blitzer downfield. Well, I mean, they had to spoil everything in the trailer, didn't they? Because there was all, there was barely three minutes of action in the entire movie, so you have to put it all in the uh, you have to put it all in the trailer. Well, the thing is, machine. If you care about sp if you if you care about spoilers, you should have watched it already. It's been out for a while, hasn't it? it like it has been out for a while. It's not a nonsense argument. If anybody spoils the boys or Stranger Things for me. It's my fault because I should have watched them already. <laughs> yeah, Rebel Invictus, yeah. <laughs> the best thing was, needless to say, <laughs> the rule was, needless to say, any endgame spoilers will result in a in an instant permaban or something. Oh dear. Oop. 
punch him. I can't get anything back, can I? Right, so now I've got two players free. What the hell can we do with two free players? So be boring and safe. Don't try the two GFIs here. Be boring and safe. What's he called? Uh, Bruce Willis is uh, is a ghost at the end of Sixth Sense. Mulholland Drive was a good movie. Well, now I've got to know what the context of this is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, it is inevitable, isn't it? Oh, anyone knows what happened in it? No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers on a on a film that was happened like twenty years ago. <laughs> oh no, is this not is this not Mulholland Drive? Wait, what are we talking about? What scene? Oh everything anywhere all at once. Yeah. Well, don't do it for spoilers. Because, <laughs> you know, some people might not have watched it. But if they haven't watched it, it's on them, isn't it? <laughs> right. Could one D to get him there. What am I trying to do here? I want to punch him to get the surf. But I'd also like an assist. Could one D, which is a two plus, to get the assist. Then he would be here. Then I could two plus to get the assist. I think I'd do this one first. Which gets this round. Gets the two D. Think we can follow for this 2D? Amazing. And then this 2D. Finally get him. 
good play rewarded. One, two, three, right. So we've got the 1D into a 1D, but I mean, this is two two pluses to make it better. A lot better. He should have stood up. Boring and safe. So I've got a re-roll. I think in terms of failure state, it's better to get in here. Get another tackle zone on the ball. Good. Phobia. What a play, guys. What a play. A delightfully boring play. Thank you very much. I do try to be boring at all times. Mr. Boring. That's what they call me. You won't find plays as boring as this anywhere else. <laughs> Getting the runner hit sucks, doesn't it? Probably because it didn't bother anyone else to boom. <laughs> Right, punch things, surf things. If he blitzes him, he can get there, but I can't get the extra one on. Well, I could go there, right? One, two, no, not really. He can blitz him. Double GFI.
<laughs> Literally every time I do an uphill, I roll a skull. Just every time. And I know it's 30%, but it's every time. <laughs> it's pretty exciting, isn't it, Super Puppy? Hypnotize you to donate a fire. No, I can't hypnotize. Right. He's got a guy KO'd. Apple stopped the KO, which may be one more thing. Yeah, like literally, how many have I done today? Like six? Six and failed every single one? It's pretty crazy. Yeah, <laughs> like honestly, it feels like it. Like I must have done, obviously. I must have not rolled a skull, but it, it sure feels like I roll a skull every time. No, I'm not going to try anything. Don't try anything, stupid. Don't hit with frenzy. Maximum boring. Yeah, this is what I tend to do. I wonder what the best setups are. This is probably my favourite setup because you've got a, like these are all connected by two. If this guy goes down, you still go. You know, you can't go totally down the side. They can't go through here. So they can't get around as easily. Like they've got to go around. They can't get through. Can't knock him over and get through. No, they kind of bit. Maybe one's better because then if they knock him down, they can they can two plus through here. But, oh, but they can't because he's there. Yeah, so they they can't get through there. And then you've got one a bit further back. Like maybe he could be here. In the ring there. I wonder if it's like a good so. No, oh, yeah, it hurts my eyes as well. There's lots of people that it doesn't hurt their eyes, but uh, it's, yeah, it hurts my eyes. It actually hurts my eyes. Right, so we can be up here, so we want... Probably all these to be back here, just go back four. Going for the dwarf dacker. It is crazy. It's so hard to control as well. You don't even get to like see it from straight, but it's so hard to control. It's like it's actually difficult to control. Go with your safe in case of a failed pickup. Imagine if Nicole Kidman was your mother. I mean, it'd be pretty good. You'd be pretty rich, wouldn't you? Uh, that's nice. You'd be American. That wouldn't be so nice. <laughs> <laughs> be nice for most people, I guess, to be American. <laughs> uh, I, don't know. I mean, the funny thing is, though, this does blur, right? Blood Bowl 2 does actually blur together, right? Everything's pretty blurry. Like, it's not actually that detailed, is it? Like, Blood Bowl 2 is more blurry. Like, Blood Bowl 2 is, like, is blurry. And Blood Bowl 3 is, like, too sharp. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, she's lived in America though for like fucking 70 years or something, hasn't she? Like, she's pretty American. Plus, like, Tom Cruise would be your dad, and he's American. <laughs> like, what would be the point of being Nicole Kidman's. <laughs> uh, 
child if Tom Cruise wasn't your dad. Okay, I went a bit too crazy there. I went a bit too rowdy. Let's go back a little bit. Oh god, yeah, oh god, yeah, no, yeah, I wouldn't want to be Tom Cruise's. No, no, no. Who else is. Who well, else? Yeah, it'd be pretty mental, but you'd, you'd have a lot of money. <laughs> Which is pretty good. You know, not that I'm a breadhead or anything, it's just nice not having to care about money, isn't it? Which you would never have to care about money if you were Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman's kid. Yeah, team making is improved, yeah. A breadhead. Bread is English for money. <laughs> And breadhead is like, you know, somebody who's obsessed by money. I just realized that I just kept saying like how how rich you'd be if you were if you were Nicole Kidman's kid. But you would be, wouldn't you? And it would be pretty good to just if your fans were that fucking fuck off rich, it'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Of course it would. It'd be, like it'd be really good. And also it'd just be really good like when you're at school and stuff and you're like, Tom Cruise is my dad. <laughs> Be fucking awesome. <laughs> Got a link to the SFL Discord. Oh boy, howdy. Are you coming to SFL, Saul? There is a there is a uh, there is a uh, American division. There you go. Our true neuro uh, wouldn't be great, I guess, but who cares? Right, this guy's fucked. Blitz one, block the other. Safe. Just call me Mr. Safe Moves first. At this point. Incredible. Bread does mean money, as if you've never heard that. Is it just a northern thing? I mean, bread was the name of a series, wasn't it? States either. Pros and cons. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, Guru. Is it just not down south? Just an old thing, fair enough, Connor. Thanks for that, buddy. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yeah, there was one at the end of the show, Brad. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> ah, maybe that's where I heard it then, Connor. <laughs> Maybe that's where I heard it, because I, I did like, I did like uh, the young ones. So yeah, maybe that's literally where I heard it. <laughs> and just decided it was a saying, despite it not being one. 
Because <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know that I've heard anybody else say it ever. <laughs> <laughs> In fairness, I don't think I've ever heard anybody else say it. More stolen content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One out of five times, really, Stradik. It gets me five out of five times. I can't help it. <laughs> next time, next time I feel a fart coming on, I'll do it. How's that sound? <laughs> How do you do an offensive drive as, uh, as dwarves, by the way? Does anybody know? Oh. Herp, herp, face, face, face. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Herp, herp, herp. Kill the skinks. Good advice. Thank you. Very helpful advice. This is a little bit shit. I'll just randomly choose somewhere. I mean, it didn't help that I got like the deepest kick ever. And then had to play conservatively. Yeah, there aren't many skinks left. It's going great. Yeah, maybe, Doug. Maybe. Maybe. I was going to go there, but I thought, <laughs> I won't bother. Cyan chest. <laughs> and he's down a man. Like, something should be able to happen here. Surely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's fair enough then, Gadenic. If that's what the great Gadenic, the world famous Gadenic thinks, then uh, that's good enough for me. Okay, don't have a man advantage anymore. That's that one fucked. <laughs> Hello, Fabi. <laughs> I was hoping somebody would say that. <laughs> I was literally hoping somebody would go over the sick as eggs. Glorious. Oh, you bastard. Defending the ball is super easy.
It's just fucking. It's bollocks, isn't it? I can't do anything. <sighs> Thick of egg. That's a good point, the squirrel dude. That is a good point. That is nice, isn't it? That is very nice, right. So there's two ways to go, isn't there? There's go down this side or go down this side. So he could 2D him, then he could blitz him. This is probably this is probably good. Nice. Fuck. Really wanted the uh, how there. I mean, it's not really. Plus, I had more players here. The the kit the the stuff the stun looked good and but I, I could have freed up those two with a pow but then like I just can't get them across to like do anything right so it's not really open whereas I've got a lot over here though most of it's behind the ball yes it would be nice to get past halfway at some point wouldn't it like the stuff over here was too far away to get over there whereas the stuff that was over here was was close enough to get over here somewhere, right? This guy got to here, this guy got to there to cancel that assist. So like, the two over here that could be free could do something, there's the two over here that could be free couldn't get over there, basically. Was my thinking. I mean, it was a brutal kick. It was just a brutal kick. Oh, hey. Ah. I think that's fair to use the last reroll there. Probably should have moved these two first, right? You had two safe moves you could have made. Yes, never lose the spin lottery yet. 
Getting drawn versus orcs, not so good. So he has to go there, tag. Blitz him, tag. Yeah, I think I just try and tag everything now. Fighter there. One D him. Maybe two D him. That's a good hit, isn't it? as easily as he can hit, so I guess he has to go there. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. That's a bit of a shitty turtle. <laughs> We'd be Lion Doyle, wouldn't we? Rather than Lion Eliodson, but... Yeah, that would be amazing. T A Y T O. Oh, could have been out of range of him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, maybe I should have gone there. Yeah, I guess I should have been there, really. Right? Because who cares if it goes in the crowd? It doesn't matter. She just made it harder to hit him. I'll get demonetized to do it afterwards. Way. Glorious. Glorious. Not, it's not over yet though. Only 35 times out of 36. What a battle that was. What a battle that was. Boy, howdy. I have potato blood in my veins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, not a line up one day. Yeah, oh yeah, because it's two, two pluses. I was, like I didn't care about the scatter out, I didn't that, I did it, I should have just been further away. He's not going to one turn, is he?
perfectly enjoyable, boring game. Yeah, because it's 33% to fail, but then 50% are get him down. Which is better than 30% to fail, but on... Well, you still get him down. Yeah, Lionel's better. I was just wrong. I was just wrong. Because <laughs> 30% is better than 33, isn't it? Wait, are both souls soul? Do I have this ball? I've seen a few people with this ball, and I wonder if it's just my ball. I've seen it way, way too much for me to be happy with it. I'm doing my part. I fucking love that. I love that gift. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a Twitter account, but thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, I know that it's in your settings, but I don't know if it's my ball, because I've, I've seen it a lot recently, and I hope it's not my ball. Because I think it looks shit. I think I've got, like, the kind of... The kind of skin one, like, because it's the one that you see on your on your menu screen, isn't it? I'm gonna foul the runner just because he's scored and he's armor eight. What a scumbag! I put him on for riot because obviously he's not gonna score a one turn with arcs. So that seemed a reasonable riot defense. It's always your ball, is it? Not your opponent's ball. Wow. Wow. Well, I hate this ball. Why did I pick this ball? Could I have changed it by accident? Reroll a three. Brilliant. MVP, get a level out of it. 59 blocks to 47. Got out bashed. <laughs> uh, to be fair, a lot of the blo a lot of the blocks are 1Ds. To be fair, 35, 30, 37, 40, 29. Oh my god, loads. 46. Yeah, I made I made lots of 1Ds, like lots and lots of 1Ds. And not that actually that many. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. For me, that for me, that's a lot. Nine of them being one Ds is a lot for me. Brilliant GFIs. It was pretty lucky overall, really, with that game. I guess. Yep. Well, that makes me feel quite lucky about the match. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.